Hi there, my name is Lauren Anstey and I'm an e-learning and curriculum specialist here at the Teaching Support Center at Western University. Today I will be introducing the topic of Open Educational Resources, or OERs, for teaching and learning. This video serves as the first part to a host of resources that have been made available to address questions such as, what are OERs? How might you locate, evaluate, and use OERs in your teaching and learning? and then how you might go about creating your own OERs for sharing. This video in particular focuses on introducing what OERs are all about and what role they could serve in terms of teaching and learning at the university level. So open educational resources have been defined as teaching, learning, and research resources that reside within the public domain or have been released under an intellectual property license that permits their free use and repurposing by others. Open educational resources are wide-ranging and include everything from full courses to online modules textbooks, learning objects and simulations, images and videos, just to name a few examples. OERs can be used for teaching the same way you would use any other educational resource. However, given the fact that they are open, there's lots of benefit to that. Smith and Casserly argue that OERs support a culture of sharing. So as more resources are freely shared, the availability of learning materials increases, adding to a culture of sharing and a collective body of educational works. BC Campus has demonstrated that with the availability of open educational resources such as open textbooks, that this helps to significantly reduce the cost of access to materials for students. Instead of paying for a textbook, this is provided to them free of charge. Similarly, the cost of content development is reduced and quality can be improved through the adaptation and modification of OERs to suit your particular needs. So as I mentioned, this video serves as more of an introduction to what, what is a wider range of materials and resources that have been made available to you in locating, evaluating, and then possibly using OERs in your own teaching. And then in the consideration of the creation or sharing of your own OERs. So what you will find is uh, lots of information about uh, Creative Commons licenses, which are the most common way in, in which uh, open educational resources are marked in a way that permits their free and open use. You'll find information on a variety of repositories or search engines for locating OERs, and you'll find some resources that help with that critical analysis of, of what you're looking at. Finally, you'll find some more introductory materials on what it means to create OERs and how you could go about sharing them, avenues for um, uh, distributing OERs that you're interested in creating. So I'll finish off by iterating that the Teaching Support Center, the e-learning team, as well as all the other educational developers who are here at the Teaching Support Center are always available for consult and assistance um, in, when it comes to your teaching and learning needs. So please reach out to us um, and, and let us know how we can help you next.